my yarny friends welcome or welcome back to friday fun day with sarah <laughs> if you don't know that's me <laughs> well uh what's been going on this week is on monday we began our crochet along for our cranberries and ivy christmas tree skirt and here's what the finished christmas tree skirt looks like <laughs> okay so on monday we did the body portion of our christmas tree skirt then our part two which was wednesday we did the trim edges we did a, a two rows of green two rows of cranberry and two rows of white now remember if you're doing this in different colors that's totally cool with me you do one that matches your decor um, one person I made a mention that I that I love the purple and silver and they said they were doing purple and white So I can't wait to see how that one turns out and they're using the ombre Yarn from Michaels in a purple. I think it's gonna be super pretty and I hope she'll send me a picture and I'll share it with you Now today it's Friday and we're going to be learning how to do this trim. This is called a bobble trim but I wanted it to look like little snowballs on the edge of our Christmas tree skirt. So don't tell anyone because you know how I hate how they change the name of patterns. But I'm calling it the snowball stitch. <laughs> Either way, it is a cute stitch and adds a perfect touch to our Christmas tree skirt. Now this stitch can be used on just about anything you want to. Blankets on the bottom of say a bag maybe a pillow I've used it on a poncho and also the edge of a shawl so it's a really great pattern to use on lots of different things and so I thought it would be fun to do this particular stitch together on Friday fun day along with adding it onto our Christmas tree skirt so it isn't just for Christmas you can use it anytime all right so let's get started oh and don't forget, you can find the links for the Christmas tree skirt, for the pattern, and the videos down in those notes underneath this video. So just a quick reminder, if you want to make our Cranberries and Ivy Christmas tree skirt, you can find all the information for the yarn and uh, measurements and all those things in that description box underneath this video. I'll have the pattern link there and the videos there so that you can quickly and easily find that. Now today, we're finishing up with our bobble stitch trim or snowball trim. <laughs> and it's a really fun but simple pattern and it works up really quickly. For today's demonstration, I'm only using my white medium weight number four yarn and this is craft smart from michaels and i've used craft smart from michaels on this whole project we're stitching today with our eye hook 5.5 millimeter crochet hook you need your scissors and then a needle to weave in those ends now i'm not going to be doing the whole um tree skirt today so what we're going to do is i'm going to use my swatch that i've been using to teach you how to do this stitch and this particular stitch looks lovely added to lots of different things i just thought it'd be really cute around the top of a stocking so this is the swatch that i've been using for our crochet along of course it's much smaller than the actual christmas tree skirt when we finished our second row of white I told you not to cut off your yarn because we're going to turn and we're going to do that bobble trim or snowball trim along this edge. All right. Now, if you wanted to change colors or you did this in different colors, that is totally fine. Just add in your yarn and we'll start our trim. And I'm going to bring the camera in closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take out my stitch marker. I use that to keep my loop from coming undone. And now I'm going to chain seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to turn my work 
because we're going to be stitching down the bottom edge of our Christmas tree skirt. All right, let's do our first bobble. We're going to begin by placing a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Now we'll place a second double crochet in that same chain. We're going to chain one and slip stitch in that same chain. That formed our first bobble or snowball. Now we're going to chain four. We're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three and then we'll slip stitch in that next stitch. Now, this row we did chain two and single crochets. So we just count all the chains and the stitches as stitches when we're skipping, okay? All right, let's do our next one. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two double crochets in the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, there's one and two, chain one, slip stitch in that same chain, and chain four. We're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and slip stitch in the next stitch. And chain seven. And now we're making our snowballs or our bobble stitch trim. One, two, three, four, two double crochets, one, two, chain one, slip stitch in that same chain, chain four, skip three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch in the next stitch. And now we have three. Now, you can adjust this a little bit. If you want your bobble stitches closer together, you can always just skip two stitches. If you want them farther apart, you can always skip more. It's kind of up to you how far apart you want your bobble stitches to be. All right, let's do one more just to make sure that you understand what I'm doing. All right, so chain seven, two double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, one, two double crochets, chain one, slip stitch in that same chain, and chain four. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and slip stitch in the next stitch. And chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's our bobble stitch, or what I'm calling the snowball trim. I love how it looks on this tree skirt, and I think it adds a little extra oomph to it. Isn't that so much fun? I think it is so much fun myself, and it adds just a cute little edge to our Christmas tree skirt. And again, you can use this trim on all sorts of things. Pillows, cushions, blankets, anything that you want. And like I mentioned earlier, it would look really cute around the edge of a Christmas stocking or maybe a Christmas doily. It's super easy to add and adds a big punch 
to make it look super cute. So let's talk about what we're going to do next Friday for Friday Fun Day. What we're going to do is learn how to add a trim to a regular fleece blanket. Now, I purchased this one at Walmart for $3.99, and it already has a surged edge. But you don't have to use that. If you've got some fleece on hand in any colors that you want, um, you can use that. Or you can go to uh, your fabric store and have them cut you off a yard or so of any kind of fleece that you want to use. It does not have to be Christmas. I'm just happening to be making Christmas blankets for my dogs to sit on for the holidays. <laughs> All right, so you need a piece of fleece and whatever yarn you want to use to trim it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this really easily and quickly. All right? The one I, this one is for Maximo. The one I'm doing for Rosie is going to be in blue snowflakes. So I think you're really going to like that one too. All right. So next Friday fun day, we're going to learn how to add a trim to a fleece blanket. I'll see you there. Have a great week.